Joseph Biden admitted today that he committed plagiarism when he was in law school. He said it was a mistake, but that it was unintentional. He quoted five pages of someone else's work without proper citation. I've wow. done some dumb things, and I'll do dumb things again. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your rideshare extraordinaire, your super duper Uber driver. It's here, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Port favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, oh man. I find it funny that liberals always saying that Donald Trump is the biggest liar we ever had. He lies about this, he lies about that. And I'm standing like, really? Have you met Joe Biden yet? Oh, Joe Biden knows a lie. He's, he's, he's honest. He's honest, Joe. And it's funny. Joe Biden has been caught lying so many times. The first time he got caught lying was 1988 when he first time he ran for presidency. And they called him for plagiarism. Biden today faces a controversy. Three weeks ago at a debate at the Iowa State Fair, he used phrases identical to those delivered by British Labor Party leader Neil Kinnock. Biden seemed to be claiming Kinnock's vision and life as his own. Why is it that my wife is sitting out there in the audience is the first in her family to ever go to college? Why is Gladys the first woman in her family in a thousand generations? To be able to get the university. My ancestors who worked in the coal mines in northeast Pennsylvania and come up after 12 hours and play football. Eight hours underground and then come up and play football. It's because they didn't have a platform upon which to stand. <laughs> there was no platform upon which they could stand. The notion that every thought or notion or idea you'd have to oh, go back and find and attribute to someone, I think is quite frankly uh, ludicrous. Plagiarism, folks. You know how bad it is? Now, a lot of people don't recover from that. You know, some people get chased out of office. You lose your job. It's, it's hard to come from. But somehow, some way, Joe Biden has recovered from plagiarism. The problem here is that Senator Biden told his audience he'd just been thinking about these things, <laughs> and he failed to give any credit at all to his famous British speechwriter. You know, I was thinking on the way over here. <laughs> Now, that's a little too much, because as you point out, what's behind the words? What's there? And a lot of people, the rap on Biden has always been that it's just a surface. I should have said, to paraphrase Neil Kinnock, <laughs> it's the only time I didn't in all the times I've ever used it. But CBS News found a tape of a second instance. <laughs> it reappeared in the New York Times with a new charge that Biden had appropriated a famous litany from the late Robert Kennedy about what the gross national product cannot measure. It cannot measure the health of our children. The health of our children. The quality of our education. The quality of their education. The joy of their play. Or the joy of their play. <laughs> Biden gave Kennedy no credit. He has also quoted or paraphrased John Kennedy, Hubert Humphrey, and British Labor Party leader Neil Kinnock, all without credit. Okay, and even after that, he ran for president two more times. But nothing is bigger than the latest fib that Mr. Joe Biden has said. And we all heard it. Okay. He was just on the campaign trail and he says this. And my uncle, they called him Ambrose uh, Brosey, they called him Bosey. My uncle Bosey was a hell of an athlete. They tell me when he was a kid. And he became an Army Air Corps before the Air Force came along. He flew those single-engine planes as reconnaissance over war zones. And he got shot down in New Guinea. And uh, they never found the body because there used to be there were a lot of cannibals for real in that part of New Guinea. What? What? Oh, my God. 
you people in New Guinea, I didn't know y'all were eating people like that. You should be ashamed of yourself. 1960s, 70s, you went around eating folks. Come on, man. You should be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> it is funny that this guy lies about the smallest, stupidest things. You know, uh, he said that um, in Delaware, he started the civil rights movement. I was talking downstairs. I, uh, I've i spent more time in uh, the uh, Bethel AME Church in Wilmington, Delaware, than I have uh, than most people I know, black or white, have spent in that church. Because that's why I started. Civil, no, I'm serious. I started a civil rights movement. I used to go to 7:30 mass, then I go to 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock services. <laughs> he was raised with Puerto Ricans and blacks. And so I, uh, I uh, was sort of raised uh, in the Puerto Rican community at home, politically. And let's lay one thing to rest. I may be a practicing Catholic. I used to go to 7:30 mass every morning in high school and then in college before I went to the black church. Not a joke. Andy knows this. He lies about the stupidest things. His death, his, his, uh, his son's death in Iraq. Now my son was a major in the U.S. Army. Lost him in Iraq. I know his name. Oh, spent his service medal, bronze star, like you all. I mean, something that you could verify, he still lied about it. And he's still doing it to this day. Russian collusion, um, you know, the FBI, 51 people signed a document saying that uh, his son's laptop was a Russian misinformation or whatever. Very cool. There are 50 former national intelligence folks who said that what this he's accusing me of is a Russian plan. They have said that this is, has all the care. Four, five former heads of the CIA, both parties, say what he's saying is a bunch of garbage. Nobody believes it except the, his and his good friend, Rudy Gianni. You mean the laptop is now another Russia, Russia, Russia hoax? And that's exactly it. what, is this that's where you're exactly going? what This is going. where he's going. The that, laptop right. is Russia, yes. Russia, Gentlemen, Russia? I want to stay on the issue of race. You okay? have to be kidding. Here Mr. we go President? again with Russia. He lied so many times, but yet y'all focus on Donald Trump. And I'm asking people, what did Donald Trump lie about? They cannot pull one thing out. Or he lied about his wealth. What? But again, Biden has been in the office for over 45 years. Lies after lies after lies after lies. Documented. We could pull it out. We have receipts on his ass. And the latest one with his uncle being eaten by cannibalism. Man, ah, Lee, what a whopper. And the best part about it is watching Jean Pierre, the Haitian Libesian, she got to explain this to the folks. Come on. I do have to ask you about a different topic. Oh. Why is President Biden saying that his uncle Bozy was eaten by cannibals? So, you know, I. I, I answered this question yesterday. Um, I believe I've seen some clips on your on your network about me answering this question. I don't have much to say uh, beyond what I said to some of your colleagues. Uh, look, I was there. I think you traveled with us too to Pennsylvania. I'm not sure if you were there at the memorial uh, in um, in Scranton. The president had a emotional and um, I think a symbolic moment. He had an opportunity as president uh, to honor his uncle's service in uniform. He had an opportunity uh, to be there as president uh, to to you know to speak to the bravery of his uncle and not just his uncle but many U.S. service members that put their lives on the line on behalf of this country. So his uncle, who lost his life when the military aircraft he was on crashed in the Pacific after taking off near New Guinea. The, prize, the president highlighted his uncle's story as he made the case for honoring our sacred commitment to equip those we stand, we send to war and take care of them and their families when they come home. And as he iterated, the last thing American veterans are, or the last thing Americans are, should be called, are suckers and losers. And uh, and that is those types of words should not come from a commander in chief as we have in the past. And <laughs> Shout out to Peter Deuce. 
Peter Ducey is the best reporter out there. He's even killed. He asks brilliant questions. We all know the answer to the questions. But watching her squirm, watching her face contort, watching her go to the pages, looking for the right comeback, that's hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. And she cannot explain it. And somehow she's trying to correlate what Donald Trump said about John McCain and trying to make a give a Biden a pass. And it's coming off pretty bad because your fucking uncle is eaten by cannibalism. That got to be the worst lie ever. And you know he lying when he always say, oh, no joke, no joke, uh, no kidding. He's all, when he ever say that, he's lying. <laughs> and it's always a whopper after whoppers after whoppers. And I don't want to hear nobody saying that, oh, that was Joe being Joe. It's a one-off. No, he said it again. He volunteered because someone couldn't make it. He got shot down in an area where there were a lot of uh, cannibals and the at the time. They never recovered his body, but the government went back when I went down there and they checked and found parts of the plane and the like. So yeah, he's sticking to his guns. He really believed that his uncle was shot down by New Guinea folks and the cannibalism went out and they ate his ass up. Wow, wow, wow. Jean-Pierre, you can't explain this away now. You can't explain it away. It must be tough working for this guy because you don't know what the hell you're going to say. And then you got to go behind him and clean that shit up. What bus, big one? Yeah, Joe. Yeah, Joe. Somebody wipe your butt. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Come on. Tell you what, I, uh, I hope he does look at me because what's happening here is you know who I am. You know who he is. You know his character. You know my character. You know our reputations for honor and telling the truth. This guy, Joe Biden, with the biggest whopper I ever heard. And y'all still going to vote for this idiot. Jesus Christ. Anyway, <laughs> if you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. Tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you man-eaters, get off my lawn.